What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprice here with another video. Today I'm out here with my boy Ricardo. Yes sir. On his day off. Uh, what we do today? Oh yeah, we got went to the junkyard and got a... Uh, where is it at? Oh, this little... This little piece for the tow truck because I had a re bar it to put it on the crew cab that we got rid of so yeah, we got it now and what else oh yeah we had to go junk some batteries and um just realized the battery costs about four hundred dollars like them sound batteries like the excess power then you scrap them they give you like five dollars that's a rip-off, ain't it? Ain't it? Isn't that a rip-off, bro? Bogus. That's, that's bogus. But what else What else can you do with them, right? But anyways, guys, today uh, we're going to go check out this one owner, 19, I think it's a 1989. I might be wrong, so hold your thought on that year because I might be saying the wrong year, but I think it is a 1989 Ford Equaline, I think. I'm not familiar with Ford, but... Um, I know I'm not a Ford guy, but this is a one owner old vehicle and it's actually the same year. Well, if it's 89, I gotta stop that because I don't know if it's 89. We're gonna go check it out because the condition that I see from the pictures, it looks like in really good shape and it's been stored inside its whole life. So, um, who doesn't like a nice old school, right? So we're gonna go check it out. And I don't know, we're just gonna drive there. It's not too far from us. And if anything, we'll just have Ricardo drive it. You down to drive it? I look like I fit in a van. Yeah, I mean, it's an old van. They probably wouldn't even look at you, you know? Hopefully it's nice, you know? Hopefully we can make a deal and bring it back. But if not, I'm still gonna show you guys and see what y'all think. And like I said, if I, if I pass on it, you guys are more than welcome. But I don't know, we're gonna hit the road, check it out, see what it is. So stay tuned. Check it out, gang. So, found out it is not a 1989. This Ford van is a 1987 Ecoline. So this is an Ecoline 150 StarCraft GT Series. Y'all know what that GT stands for? Woohoo, it's got the fog lights in the bottom. Got my boy Ricardo in it already. In a test drive. Hey, is there any button for the fog lights? I don't know what he's doing in there. Playing with some buttons. Ricardo, is there, is there any button for the fog lights? And the bottom, a switch, something? Try clapping your hands. Ah, nope. Didn't work. Did work. You know, that was an old trick, you know. I thought this one might have it. Well, it's got some yellow fog lights. And we got the cool step thing. Who knows about this? Put it right here. And then, uh... Now we have a step. You can put your feet and go up. See? Pretty sturdy, too. So we want to like go up here, we just, yep, pretty cool, right? Oh, we got some traffic here. Hey, back up a little, let them uh, pass by. Yeah, gang, it got it got dark on us pretty quick. Look how clean this thing is. I don't think I ever seen a 1987 this clean. This thing is super clean, and all the lights work. It's got a hitch. We might have to pull something with it. Got the license plate light and they work. This 
still got some nice shine. No signs of rust whatsoever. This van's older than me. Let's start off with the back. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's got the handle to open it from the inside out. We got a little pocket here. Okay. How do we open this one? Uh, this probably has it. How do you open this one? You know how to open the other one? You know how to open this one? Probably has it on the bottom one. Huh? I don't know, that's what I was looking at. Oh, this guy just came and parked right here. Who the hell is this? What's going on, man? Are you supposed to get it? Well, he didn't. He texted you. I, he didn't know I'd have been interested. But I don't know. Oh, I this thing, yeah, right. It's super nice. Got another pocket here. Like a storage. Or, I thought this was the cooling What is it? The cooler. Was oh, it cooler? Yeah, Starcraft cooler. Where's the beer? Oh, no, we gotta refill it. Oh, uh, they drank all the beer. Yeah, it was a part of the deal, he said. Yeah, he forgot, he took all the beer out. <laughs> I got the lights on at the inside. Did it work? What you think, you like it? Yeah, I grew up in a 78, man. You grew up in a 78? Yeah, yeah. My old man, he was the Italian Stallion. That's what was on the back. I'm Damn. Up and shit. It wasn't an explorer, though. I don't think they were out that's, that's what I was telling them, like, I think everybody kind of grew up in Chevys. You know what? In Chevys? Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised when I seen it. He had sent me them pictures. All the... Like, everything's all the there. Pictures. Everything he works. Hasn't even, he hasn't even detailed it yet, has he? No, he didn't do nothing yeah. to it, man. He said it was all original. Just put it up away. Um, I don't know. I'm going to see what they say. See what they, you know. Are they into the Fords? Like, they're usually into Chevy shit, right? Yeah, they're into Chevys. I know, right? I'd bag it. It might be my van. Throw some rims, tinted. Original owner. TV? Yeah, original owner. <coughs> what would you do to it? If I kept it, I'd just fucking bag it. Call yeah. It day, man. Oh, yeah. Get some uh, race line builds or something. The That's original. what I was thinking. Put yeah, some build it. It's got, it's got big wheel wheels, too. Yeah, that's for having what ninety thousand or whatever. I didn't even. That's what it says. Ninety four, ninety four. How's it drive? Pretty decent. Yeah, it drives good. A little bit on the brakes, but in the city for a while. Is that you going out by our shop all the time, or barn? Is that someone else? No, no someone else. He yeah. Got, he got semi wheels on it. Yeah. It's yeah, no. One. Yeah, no. He, he that one's actually next to my shop right now, broken down. Oh, he got a flat. It? Yeah. Anyway. He's got twenty eight. Yeah, he got chrome handles and he, he got a toolbox. That's not me. Now I barely drive mine. I only drive it uh, here and there. I'm always in the tow truck. Came with a table too. No, dude. Like legit. And a storage. Hey, table I, storage. I mean, if you're just gonna flip it, you fucking put it on a bring a trailer. You know how much money is it for? You said what? I put it on bring a trailer.com. Oh, uh, oh, auto trailer. Oh, bring a trailer. What is that one? That, you know, that's where they put all those eyeball shit. That for real? Like bring a trailer. I'm gonna have to that's check it out. Doing. I never seen that. You should, you should be able to get what, 10? Uh, you know, it's hard to it's no, know the market because you, you put it on that one, like here. Moving on to the inside, right here, it's a compartment so you can put the. Um, uh, I haven't really do my research on how to open this, and I'll just before I break it, I'll look into it. I'm sure, we got the windows right here that you uh, lift this up. Squeeze it. That's how you open it. And we got the curtains, you know, so you can have your own privacy while you are inside sleeping or whatnot. Here goes the other side. Yeah, it's got two doors in the middle. We got the cup holder, the handle right there, and the window is same window. Yep. Yeah, guys, we got a little cup holder here. 
This is the handle. We got a little cigarette lighter here. It's clean, you can tell they never smoked in here. Got the curtains, the window, another pocket in here you can put stuff. Step. Came with a couple uh, oil filters, that's pretty cool. A belt, these are all like, you know, in case you, your belt breaks on the road. We got an extra light. We got an air filter and I don't know what this is. This might be a radiator cap, hold on, gas cap. We got gas cap. We got the table here so we can have some dinner. Or, you know, when you stop and you gotta eat something or anything, you know, snack on. The seat's got a pocket here. Very, very roomy in here. We can walk to the back seat. This back seat looks like a couch. Tell me now, look how, man, this is like a couch. This couch actually becomes a bed. I think these are like the pillows, you know, put them down. <coughs> they become pillows. You see those curtains are closed for privacy, but you can open them. And they got blinds too. Check out the sunroof. This one got a sunroof in the back. That's pretty neat. And then you can just cover it with this Velcro piece. Yep, just like that. And we got the speakers. What's over here? More compartments. I think it's got compartments everywhere. Yep, like I said, this becomes a bed, so you guys can take a nap here. It's very comfortable over here. Look how bright it's in here. What you think, Ricardo? It's roomy. Ready for the road trip, right? Yeah, yeah. We got here another cigarette lighter, a pocket, cup holder. Man, this thing is loaded. Loaded for being an 87. Hey, try to cut the other one lights. Can y'all see the lights on top, gang, over here? Oh, you turned them off. I'm trying to show them those. Uh. Oh, here, I just turned them off right here. But you guys see it, it's got a LED. Well, I don't know what you would call those. I forgot the name. What would you call these? I don't know what they call it, guys, but it's got lights right here. You can see behind the wood on both sides. Pretty neat. This is like the biggest headliner I've ever seen. Headliner, right? And it's not sagging, which is no. pretty cool. We can put a big flip down TV. Uh, moving down to the front, look at all that wood grain. It is a power window truck too, so it does got power window, power locks. Then they go down fast. Let's see. Oh, you ain't lying. Up you and bet. down. Look at the cluster. Got the heater on right now and it works. Extra buttons. That's real wood guys. Not no fake wood. That's real wood. Got the heater and AC, the radio. Look at the gauges. How many miles this thing got? What does it read right there? 94,596. 94,000 original miles guys. Not bad at all. Man, I don't even know where to start with this. What you think we should do to this, bro? First thing we gotta do is... We got the book with full receipts. I think the window sticker's in here. Check if the window sticker's in here. I think it is. I think I remember him saying that it might be in there. Not the title. We need the window sticker. That's the title. Yeah, I think that was on the sticker. Was it? I think so. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that's what makes the van right there, guys. Check it out. Let's show them what's the price. Doesn't see the price? No, no total. Oh, uh, total was blank. Oh, it was free back then. Mm hmm. How many gallons? You get uh, 18 on the highway, 14 on the street. Okay, this gets better than my dually. Joe Madden. Joe Madden. Where was the purchase at? Let's stay on top. No? Well, this thing is nice. Well, guys, 
I wish it was daylight. I could show you a little bit more about the van. But right now, I want every one of y'all to hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what y'all want to see from this van. Um, what you guys' ideas is. Should we put some wheels on? Should we leave it all original, unmolested? Maybe get it all buffed up, make it look all nice. I mean, the van is already very presentable. It's very good taken care of. Very super clean. Like... I can't even like I don't even know what's dirty in this. <laughs> right? Nothing, not even the button. It looks like it's almost ready for a road trip, bro. I'm That's I'm what actually we should do. We should right. Do a guy's we should trip. just do a little guy trip in this van and I think it'll be pretty cool. We got the bed in the back. I mean, we can feel like what? It would have to be five guys. Be the only reason I say five is because now if somebody's taking a nap. What, yeah, we can't have two guys in the back, you know. I mean, we could, but we're not. Put them on shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, so five people just so we can be. Plus, we got luggage and all that. So, I don't know, man. I think this is a pretty cool van, and uh, appreciate the seller. You know, uh, very good guy. Appreciate the the hookup on it. You know, it was actually a good shape van, and uh, he was not lying when he said it was a. Uh, it was really taken care of, you know. So I'm actually happy I was able to purchase this. And I'm excited to see uh, what I'm gonna do to it. So, um, I know the bolt pattern is not a Chevy bolt pattern because it's a Ford. So, uh, I don't know if we can find wheels for this, but obviously, we will have to do some research. But, like I said, guys, get in the comment section, let me know what you guys' ideas are, and see should, what should we do with this. You ready to hit the road? Yeah. Let's go.